I want to comment on the hysteria around Twitter not linking to uh, the New York Post. Now, I don't know why Twitter didn't link to New York Post. Maybe because they're politically biased. Maybe because um, they thought it was a bad article and wasn't sourced properly. Maybe because there were some privacy concerns. I don't know. Probably a bad mistake for Twitter. Probably bad PR. Probably not a good business decision for them. Probably shouldn't be doing stuff like that. Trying to figure out whether my links to my my posts and Twitter that link to articles are okay articles or not okay articles. I mean, they have to have some standards, but you'd think they have better standards than this. But it's their platform. They can do whatever the hell they want. They can ban me from Twitter tomorrow if they want. It's their platform. It's their right. If we don't acknowledge that, then we don't stand for property rights anymore. We certainly don't stand for free speech. Because it is government that violates our free speech. It is not only government that can censor in the sense of use force to stop speech. And if the government starts regulating Twitter, that's exactly what they will be doing. They will be regulating speech, which is a violation of free speech. You don't like Twitter? You don't like their decision? Go to Paula. Paula, Paula's booming, I hear. You know, Amy Peikoff is like, is, is a, is a, is, has a senior position over there. So go and, go and support Paula instead of Twitter. And yeah, absolutely, we should criticize them. We should criticize them on bad decisions. We should criticize them on not having a clear policy of what they will allow and what they won't allow, that their policy is too vague and too uh, 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 ambiguous. We can criticize them for having political bias. That's great. We should, we should criticize. Do all of that. But to call it censorship, to call for government regulations, as you know, uh, many of your favorite senator Ted Cruz did. That's just that's just absurd, wrong, anti-capitalist, anti-free market, anti-property rights, anti-free speech, anti-free speech. And by the way, I, I find it interesting. So I'm on YouTube. We're on YouTube right now. YouTube right now. You can see mine. And I, I, I don't monetize these long shows because I don't want them to have a bunch of commercials in them. So when you guys watch the tape show, I don't want you to have to go through the commercials. But I do monetize the short videos. Right? All my short videos get monetized. And it's interesting that some of my short... So one of the accusations against YouTube is that they are politically biased and that they don't like the right. And as a consequence, they don't monetize kind of right-wing videos, right? So they don't monetize certain people. Right? And this is Prager's complaint against YouTube that some of his videos are not monetized. Now, some of my videos are not monetized. But I find it really interesting which ones are not monetized. Like, in recent weeks... The only two videos that were not monetized were two videos I did on abortion. Now, I think you all know that I'm pro-abortion. Yes, I said pro-abortion. And yet they didn't monetize those videos. You'd think that if they had a clear left-wing agenda, if their agenda was just to silence the right and to go full throttle with the left, they would have monetized the two videos about abortion where they agree with me supposedly. Other videos that haven't been monetized, some of them when I deal with race, but some that I've dealt with race were monetized. Some of my anti-racist is racism videos, some of my, uh, you know, white, uh, what was it, white uh, fragility videos, some of those were monetized, which shocked me, really surprised me. Other stuff isn't, for no apparent reason that I can tell. By the way, generally when I talk about sex, they won't monetize it. So I don't know what their criteria is. But at least for me, and I'm not speaking for other people on YouTube, it doesn't seem to be based on a left or right wing overall thing. There's certain issues that they don't like. Right? 
And yeah, again, they're right. <laughs> I, I mean, I love it. YouTube actually, I, I put up videos. I put up videos, right? YouTube sends their minions out to find advertisers to advertise on my video. They get a cut, I get a cut. I do no work other than click a button that I want it monetized. Why wouldn't I say, you know, hey, if you can find me people to monetize it, great. If you can't, yeah. If you don't want to, that's okay too. Your platform, your choice. So, um, you know, I really, really, I'm defending Twitter on the basis of property rights. I'm defending YouTube on the basis of property rights. And on the basis of free speech, by the way. They have a right, as part of their free speech rights, to have said whatever they want on their platform. If somebody comes into your house, let's say, you're a big Trump supporter. If I come to your house and I start spouting um, anti-Trump stuff, you can tell me to leave. You can tell me I don't want anti-Trump stuff in my house. And that's within your rights. You're not suppressing my speech. You're confirming your right to your speech. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think meaning any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brute. All right, before we go on, reminder, please like the show. We, we've got 163 live listeners right now, uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see, see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a, click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share and uh, you can support the show at youronbrookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals uh, and, uh, and show your support for, all, for, for, for the work, for the value hopefully you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if, you, even if you just come here to troll or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified, right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please.